How you going? My name's Nick. I'm an intelligent, mature young man. And today, I'm gonna to explain to you the three fundamental building blocks for any happy, fulfilling life. Why don't you come with me? so much for attending my TED talk. Now today's talk is going to be covering what I like to call the three pillars of life and I'm going to share with you today what the pillars are. So pillar number one, your car. It might seem basic to you but there's a lot of value in this, in this four-wheeled machine. Pillar number two, your job. Everyone has a job, I know, but you know if you have a job coupled with the other two pillars, that's when you start to make some real progress. House. You know, everyone has a roof to sleep under. That's not true. Most people don't. Most people sleep in their car. So yeah, your house. That's that's the third pillar. And so you've got you got car. Let's let's go over and let's go over them together. You got car. You got job. House. Car. So basically, a, a car is a car is the first point in anyone's anyone's life. You need a car in order to get from A to B. You need a car to get to job. P pillar number two, job. Now, job provides income, provides money. You might be thinking to yourself, well, gee, I can't buy a car without a job. Well, you know, I had the same problem. You do whatever you can to, in order to save some money to, to buy the first car, whether it's, you know, begging on the street. I mean, I never sunk that low. It can be a shitbox. As long as it gets you from A to B, as long as it can get you to a job, which takes you to pillar number two. Find yourself a job. Get on seat, get on Indeed, get a job. Delivery driver, go on your paper run. You can be you can be flying a plane. Fantastic. That's two of the pillars done and dusted. You might remember from the beginning of the video, there's a third pillar. Now what is it, everyone? <laughs> it's house. <laughs> Alright, so house. You can use the money, the equity you've obtained from the old car. Couple that with your new income. Buy yourself a more expensive car. More expensive car leads to higher paying job. It's a snowball effect. Once you've done that, you got a better car, it just keeps on. You know, you've got a job, you got a car. What are you doing? You're sleeping in your car? No, you gotta get a house. You haven't got a roof, you're nothing. You may as well not even have a job or a car. Just don't sleep in your car for more than three nights. You sleep in your car for too long, you start to get used to it. You start to think, gee, I can live this life. You know, I got a beautiful job, got a beautiful car. You need a damn house, right? It doesn't matter whether you share it, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter whether you have your own house. You need a house. All right, so go on, get on flatmates.com. Now, me personally, I, so I said I'm living with my father. Look, yeah, uh, things didn't go so well in my last place, and so I had to move in, I had to move back in with, uh, with dad, and I'm very grateful. I was sleeping in my car. I wasn't, but I would have if he hadn't have offered me his place. I've been there, I've sunk to the depths of, of zero pillars, you know, I've, trust me, it's not a place you want to go. When you have your very own home, that's when you, that's when you achieve true happiness. You know why? Because you've got, your car, your job, and your home. Now go and you know, get yourself a home with a garage. Somewhere you can store your beautiful car. You, know, you, got a, you got a beautiful, pristine car. You turn up to your job, your boss is impressed. He might give you a promotion. Look, it's all about risk versus reward. You never know what's gonna happen. You buy an expensive house, the price could plummet. It's okay, you hold on to that house. You hold on to that damn house until the price shoots back up again. It's all a cycle. It just comes and goes like waves in the ocean. It's a tide that lasts many years. So just hold on to it. That's the secret. Hold on to the damn house. <laughs> It's gonna go back up. It's not like a car it doesn't just depreciate. It's not that complicated. <laughs> Look, house equals equity. So does car for that matter. You know, you have more assets, you have more equity. You're, you're worth more, basically. And the more you're worth, the happier you become. Look, it's not rocket science. It's a simple equation. If I can figure Sorry. it out. You... What? What's going on? <clears throat> Nick, hi. Uh, Dr. Tom Mackay from Brisbane on the line. Uh, your theory of focusing on tangible items to drive happiness in one's life does intrigue me. However, with that must come a series of market-dependent factors that surely must shape the fundamental stability of these pillars. For example, what would you consider the main macroprudential tools, um, you know, managing housing booms in a volatile market such as Perth, particularly with respect to maintaining the integrity of your housing pillar? And how are these implemented within your theory to ensure sustained happiness anyway? Said tools, you know... What the fuck? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, you need a third pillar. You got a roof living. Get yourself a damn roof. Ah, uh, 
Thank you, uh, thank you, Dr. Oakley, for your question. <laughs> Look, I'm not an expert on the housing market. I'm sorry, but you know, I'm, I'm going to try my best to answer your question. Basically, Jay, I don't think you're grasping the, the concept of the pillars, especially the third pillar, which is house. Now, we all know the market goes up and down, as I said before. Um, fuck. Look, Jordan, it's a Dr. paradox. Dr. Tom you know, it's not something you can put your finger on. Uh, the housing market is... Uh, volatile, as you say. Did he say that? Get yourself a job, Jordan. Uh, all right, and then we McKay. can talk, bloody, you know, then we can talk housing market, all right? It's the first step in any of this. You just need a job. Have you not been listening to the talk? Tom. All right. Thanks for listening to my TED Talk on the three pillars of life. Now, I hope you've taken on the three pillars of life. You've been a fantastic audience. Now, let's go and achieve some happiness together. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much as always for watching this cheeky vid. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something from it. If you enjoyed this, then you, you might enjoy us uh, breaking into places. Maybe you even like to watch an unboxing or two. Well, this is the perfect place for you. So one year, hop on those past videos and check them out. And please subscribe if you feel like it. Thanks guys. In today's market, the price is going up and down. No one bloody... <laughs> wait, wait. You know, in today's market... You know, Dad's a, he's a, he's a great man. He just, he took me in, when, I don't know if I want to reveal this to everyone, I know. He took me in when I, when I needed help, you know, I was sleeping in my car.